Well, all the eyes are on the attendance figures of UCLA football. Let's talk about basketball real quick. UCLA gets a four-star recruit, Brandon Williams. The two Williams both committing to UCLA. Both Devin not too long ago. Now Brandon spurning St. John's, the New York State's top recruit, comes to UCLA. It's emergency pod time. Very short locked on UCLA. We'll come with football later. Let's get some locked on UCLA, everybody. You are Locked On UCLA, your daily podcast on the UCLA Bruins. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey, everybody. Zach Anderson, Yoxheimer, alongside Zach Handy. Get your hands in the air, Spruin fans. Locked on UCLA. Let's go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. U, U, C, L, A, UCLA, UCLA fight, 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 fight. And why are we so excited, Bruin fans? It's because UCLA got Brandon Williams. He's coming to notice St. John's, the New York kid who, between the two Williams, Devin Williams, who we uh, kind of looking into it, seemed like he was coming to UCLA over SC. Brandon Williams who we thought there's a chance maybe that he wouldn't come to UCLA, a New York kid, a good New York program basketball-wise, St. John's. It, it would make sense if he chose St. John's over UCLA. But now, not too long ago, he chooses UCLA. That gives them some size. And now there might be moments we've talked about how there's potential for minutes for both. Bruins get both Williams. This recruiting class for next year is going to look extremely interesting as the Bruins get another class of 23 recruit also with the last name Williams, a top recruit in the state of New York. Zach, what do you got? Uh, this is this is huge. I mean, this is, I guess, I don't know if there was doubt, but, you you know, we've had this same crop of guys of Jaime Jaquez and Tiger Campbell and, uh, you know, Cody Riley, and this same crop has, has done great things to usher in the Mick Cronin era. Uh, but what's what's after this, right? Like, what, how does Mick revamp and retool and continue to be uh, towards the top of college basketball? And I think this is a major, major signing uh, in order to do that and to steal, you know, a top recruit out of the state of New York and bring them all the way to the other coast, uh, right from under St. John's fingertips, I think is huge. And his immediate impact on this team, it, it sounds like, uh, could be a thing. I think that's a, a reason why, according to the, the New York Post uh, article that, that came out right after uh, his signing, is that he enjoys the, our plan for him and what we think he can be right away and as a prospect going towards the NBA. And I think all those things bode well for UCLA. Yeah, and, and didn't you, you tell me off the air with the quote, it, this practically ruins St. John's is recruiting class, right? Isn't that what you read or what you yeah, told me? Yeah, quote, quote unquote, and it was a major blow to the, to the St. John's plans for their, their recruiting class. And I mean, this was someone who they probably had circled as hometown kid, top of the state. We have to keep him here. He's from Queens. He's right here in our neighborhood. We have to keep him here. And for him to go all the way across to the West Coast, I mean, what a great, what a great, uh, you know, job by UCLA to, to find a way to steal that guy right out from from that neighborhood. He's six seven. He plays at Christ the King. He's technically, depending on what rankings you have, I'm looking at the two four seven sports rankings. Seventy fourth in the nation for the class of twenty three. Twenty three at a, a press conference Monday, September nineteenth. And his his quote: "You're going New York Post. I'm going two four seven. It said he said UCLA is a big program. They have connections to get me to where I want to go, and I feel like they." will be able to help me get to the next level. I'm really happy with my decision. I know when the time comes to leave, I'm going to be a little nervous about the distance as a New York kid and stuff, but UCLA is the best option for me in terms of Brandon Williams and in the, the long run. So that's something that what he was saying, his quote to 247 Sports, you see these recruits, they kind of tease to certain media outlets where they're going to go before. I've seen this before. They tell certain people, hey, I'm going here. These are my quotes. So he gave out the quotes. And a big get for UCLA, you get Devin Williams, the, the kid from the Centennial. You get now Brandon Williams, the 6'7 combo forward. And again, he kind of fits that mold of the UCLA guy, right, with the 6'7 with that type of guy. But those are two pretty solid recruits from Mick Cronin, which, all right, there's no class of 23 recruits. You could argue – UCLA basketball is more recruits now than UCLA football coming up. And that's, that's, that's kind of scary. But for next year, UCLA basketball, in addition to this year, lots of hype. 
different names from what we're used to under Mick Cronin's short tenure so far with the, you know, the Juzanks, the Hawkeyes, the Tiger Campbells. We'll be ushered into a new year, a new era of UCLA men's hoops really quick. And it's nice to see that Brandon Williams is a part of that. I, I was kind of shocked that he actually chose to go to UCLA. It doesn't hurt anything. Bring the more, the merrier. And that's just the national side. That's just the U.S. side. That doesn't include the, the, the assistant coach, Ivo Samovich. That doesn't include the new international guys they could get, like Abramo Zanka, who signed late. Who knows what the international pool might give to the Bruins coming up. Just beyond these first two class of 23 recruits, you get a solid recruit with Devin Williams, a great one with Brandon Williams. And regardless of, say, Brandon Williams or Devin Williams, say they don't pan out. Let, let's play worst case scenario here. It's good to see UCLA can go in someone's backyard in New York and pluck the state's top recruit out of someone who is trying to recruit their hometown kid. And UCLA says, all right, like they should be able to pluck somebody out like that. that that's how it should be. And UCLA, I think now as we're beginning to grow, all right, Bruins slowly returning to national prominence, you would say, since that end of the Final Four era. And yes, you can continue that one year with Lonzo Ball. But this is the return to glory, one might say. Mick Cronin, who wasn't looked at, at least by several media outlets, as the right guy, is looking to be the right guy to lead the Bruins in Westwood and bring lots of fans flocking to Poly Pavilion for years to come with a program that expects to be extremely good from here on out. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, how do you win in college athletics? And it's by recruiting. Like that is that's that's the the one and only answer. You know, the the best recruiting classes typically tend to be the best teams in the country moving forward. You know, they're always towards the top. Uh, and, and to see Mick Cronin come over, you know, from where uh, Cincinnati, which was, you know, he had a gritty look. He got these athletic and and grinded out players, and that's how he had his success there. How is he going to recruit now that he went to a national powerhouse type school for basketball in UCLA? And he's proving right away that I can recruit, I can get the transfers, I can get the recruits, I can do all those things in order to make UCLA that prominent school that everyone expects them to be. And uh, this type of signing right out there from you know a basketball mecca, which is New York. Um, to go grab one of the state's top guys or the top guy and bring them all the way out West just couldn't prove more that Mick Cronin was the right guy and is doing great things to bring UCLA back to national prominence. UCLA gets Brandon Williams, their second class of 23 commit from, from what I got get Devin Williams, Brandon Williams. And we talked about, are there times where they can have minutes on the floor? I know Devin Williams, a little bit bigger, Brandon, a little bit smaller, a bit of a combo guard forward type. There is possibility these guys will see time on the floor in years to come for the Bruins, and I'm not sure if they're one and done guys. We'll go into it more and more closer to class until we get to 2023, but it just kind of echoes the importance about UCLA's final four run in 2021. That final four run kind of out of nowhere said, hey, oh wait, we can compete with the big dogs even in years we aren't expected to be good, and when we are good, we can compete with Arizona in the Pac-12. And moving to the Big Ten is probably a big reason why Brandon Williams thought he could come home because UCLA does have games against in the future, the Rutgers. The distance is tough, but he only has road games closer to home than if he would on the West Coast by the time he gets here. And of course, say everything goes well and he's a one and done, might not even make it to the Big Ten because UCLA still has two years. But if he's thinking about a year or two, if not longer, in school at UCLA, there's still an opportunity with cross-country road trips in Big Ten play in years to come if he stays more than a year. And there, there's reasons to say he could get you know closer to family, but for the Bruins, going back to that Final Four run, I think that was huge in re-establishing the Bruin national image across the nation. And Mick Cronin's proven he's here to sh stay, he's here to win, and he's here to steal your top recruit right underneath you. Absolutely. I, um, you know, there's always just when you get a mid major coach, I feel like there's like just a little bit of worry about that specific thing, right? Can this mid major guy be a national recruiter, right? Can he hang with those big dogs and take those recruits and go into those living rooms and be a guy like that, a coach like that? And, uh, 
I think rest assured now, like there's no, there's no reason to feel uneasy about getting a mid-major guy to come over here. And can he do that? I think he's 100% proven now, especially with this type of signing that uh, he's here to, to play with everybody. And Mick Cronin is a, a national recruiter and, and one of the best in the business at what he does. And he's got a good staff. He knows how to go beyond the U S border. He knows how to go overseas now. And, but he's proven, Hey, if it's in his backyard, if it's in someone else's backyard, he can he can clean up around home and he can go steal from across the way out in New York. So great job, Mick Cronin and company. Bruins get Brandon Williams, four star recruit out of New York. I believe he was the state's top recruit, depending on what recruiting you know sites you use. And he was choosing between a New York school, St. John's, and UCLA, and he decides to come to the Bruins. Four star recruit Brandon Williams joins Devin Williams as another four star class of twenty three recruit on this emergency shortened edition of Locked On UCLA. Bruin fans, we need that eight clap one more time. We got to be excited. We got to be excited. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, UCLA, 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 fight, UCLA fight, 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 fight. Let's go, Bruins. This has been emergency style. Locked On UCLA with Zach Candy and Zach Anderson-Yoxheimer.